Um, so my name is Jason Beachy and welcome to the Paluka School. Beautiful um, Paluka School, <laughs> <It's pretty> cool, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yes, we're, we're very lucky. Um, so this is our campus here, this is our school. Um, I'm the rector of the Paluka School and today is the first day of the fourth um, summer course that we've organized with Tansplan Dresden. So this is a, a chance that we've had to really bring together um, the Paluka School, Hellerau, and the Dresden Semper Opera Ballet. That we had a real desire to actually work together. And in the Paluka School, when Paluka founded her school, um, this, the school is now 85 years old, she really stressed that she wanted everybody to be an individual. And it didn't matter whether you were doing ballet or teaching, but that you really find your own voice. And that is what we do in the school today. We do a lot of ballet, contemporary, and improvisation. But we try to find a way that everybody, the most important thing is their personality and their, how they do it and what they can bring to it. Um, and we also have a very interdisciplinary curriculum. Our students always, they all work with dance and architecture, with dance and video, um, with ballet, contemporary, a very sort of multidisciplinary approach and that's exactly the character that we have in the summer workshop. That people can come and in an open environment where people aren't afraid to make mistakes to try and challenge and hopefully learn and experience something new. Well here in the Paluka school our students start at age 10 but because we're a university they can go right through elementary school, high school, bachelor degree, master degree, wow. teacher training programs, choreographer training programs, a postgraduate master class. So we have students from age 10 to 50. They're mm. completely mixed um, and that's what we like is actually not to have only professionals or only kids and also to have the school as connected as possible to the company to the Forsyth company to Hello How that you can all sort of share and learn and work together um, and that's a character that we have in the summer course with you know classes for beginners for kids for professionals creative residencies um, we want to have um, like a, a real full spectrum. Here in the Paluka School, our goal is really to train professional dancers. But we're looking for people who have, because our basic techniques is improvisation, contemporary dance and ballet, we're looking for people who want to explore those three main techniques. Mm -hmm. And of course, you need to have enough physical ability that you can do ballet properly. Um, you know, with point work and classical repertoire and pas de deux, and also have the potential to get a job in a company, in a ballet company. But we also want people who really are interested in being a part of a creative process. Because I think a lot of schools, it tends to be, you have to choose either ballet or contemporary or everything and nothing. Whereas we're looking for people who can do ballet, but have a very contemporary spirit. Mm. Well, I think technology plays a huge part now, probably more than ever in dance. And so many of the young generation, they're fascinated by editing and computer programs. And a lot of our students, they actually compose their own music. They make short films. They, there's a great interest in exploring this. But now, like our students, regularly present their work in Hellerau. The Semper Opera Ballet is going to perform in Hellerau oh, okay. for the first time ever. So there's a lot of sort of new connections that have been established okay. through Tansplan and they're going to continue. Um, but I think what's very interesting is that the history of Dresden, a lot of people think, oh Dresden, it's about museums and history and very conservative. That's only the recent history of Dresden. If you go back farther, like even before it was East Germany, you know, with Paluka and Wigman, this was really like radically experimental avant-garde work that they were doing here. And Paluka worked a lot with the Bauhaus movement and with live musicians and painters and sculptors. So the, the idea of having this interdisciplinary work, multidisciplinary, is the Dresden tradition. 
but that tradition had sort of been a little bit isolated and cut off from many Unknown years. Unknown sometimes, you know. Like, and yeah. Yes. Well, you know, everything that was in East German times was yeah. behind closed doors. Yeah. So that's our goal now is to really, you yeah. know, get this tradition really alive and to also bring people to Dresden yeah. and take people from Dresden out. Yeah. But this interdisciplinary approach yeah. with very avant-garde trying something new yeah. um, is very much the spirit of what Dresden always was. Yeah. Every summer, of course, we have at least three teams and they, they come, you know, with travel and they're four dancers and dramaturgs and mm -hmm. video artists and they have studios, hotels, accommodations, yeah. mentors. Yeah. Um, I think it's so important and it's so rare. But, yeah. um, for all of our programs, you must audition. Mm -hmm. um, normally for our auditions, we have, like if it's for a dance, where you've got like a pre-selection and a final workshop. Mm -hmm. But we try to make all of our auditions like a learning experience, where you come, you do classes, we look, we talk, mm -hmm. we do interviews to really see if the people are curious, if mm -hmm. they're hungry, mm -hmm. if they have the ability to learn. And then depending on the program, I mean, of course, if you train to be a dancer, it's better to come young. Yeah. <laughs> um, but choreographers, it's a master program, so we look for people who already have a certain level and experience, but they want to go farther. Mm -hmm. um, and in the teacher training programs as well, we have two levels, so mm -hmm. you know, we there's we try to be as open as possible. Mm -hmm. um, there are no fees for the school, even if you're foreign. Wow. Um, so it's, you know, there are, normally there's no problems financially for students to come. Yep. Um, we try to be as open as possible, yep. but we have a certain limited number of yep. places too. Um, but I think also, you know, we're one school of many schools in Germany, so, but it's good there's very different schools with different profiles. Yep. So we also hold auditions now every year in Madrid oh. and Rome and Dusseldorf and Dresden to really say hello, we're here, wow. come. That so. Is, so that means that uh, international students can come? Yeah, come yeah. and it's free. There's no... Wow. There's no... Hello, fees. are you listening? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's free. So, wow, and yeah. it's, uh, what I have seen is wonderful. Well, thank you very much. This is uh, really... It's not going to be a secret anymore. Good. Get, <laughs> spread the word. Get it out. Yeah. Yes.